Hey guys, so I've just installed the latest Android 8.0 Beta 1 for the OnePlus 5T and I wanted to do a quick little video on it, you know, checking out what the new changes are and whether or not it's stable to use daily, day to day. Uh, so in terms of the actual patch level, you will find that you are now on, I think, pretty much the latest uh, patch level, so that is December, nice and secure. Uh, it does also come with some nice new uh, features as well, such as the one uh, which you do get on other on Oreo devices like the Pixel, etc. Such as your uh, what do you call it, picture-in-picture -picture mode. So this, for example, I just show you happens on Chrome or on um, YouTube. There you go. So you can watch a video, etc., and do other stuff uh, as you're watching the video, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can do all that, all that with uh, Google Maps as well, which you know, if you want to come out of that, it goes into a little square box. Uh, so that's uh, quite a nice feature to have come on to the 5T. Uh, we're also getting uh, some improvements when it comes to the interface, uh, particularly when it comes to your app shortcuts. So you can see you can quickly uh, get access to new contacts when you hit the dialer there and also with the messaging app. Uh, so I think it looks a little bit different than it did before, although I'm not 100% sure because I don't really use this feature too much. Uh, but I can see it being quite useful to, to some people. Uh, also in terms of the selecting a text apparently it's a little bit quicker now to do things so if you just select some text here you can see it comes up with all the options in one go so you can quickly web search uh, as opposed to clicking once or twice or something so that's quite nice in terms of the camera i think oneplus is constantly rolling out updates to try and improve the quality because it has faced a little bit of backlash in terms of you know it not being quite up there uh, in terms of the changes here, I think we're getting the ability to upload photos shot on OnePlus now. Uh, so you can actually put on the shot on OnePlus uh, like a watermark uh, and then it will appear on the photos. I'm not 100% sure of how to upload it though. It's like uh, it's not essentially that clear but you know maybe you know uh, you can actually put your name there as well if you want. Uh, if you want to, you know, have that. In terms of the actual quality, I've found that the, 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 the pictures are very acceptable in, uh, you know, decent lighting. It's just the low light where it, it kind of falls down, doesn't really live up to the height. Uh, but I think they are, you know, continually trying to improve it, which is good. Uh, other things to consider, they've added uh, something called water, uh, autofill. Uh, so I think that's basically like if you're putting in your information in forms and things like that it should be a lot quicker now uh, which is quite good uh, so I think those are the main things here you know it's good that they're continually uh, updating the phone very quickly uh, as I said in terms of the stability I've not seen too many problems everything seems to work as it should like in terms of uh, the video recording as well uh, so it's up to you whether you want to try it out or not. I think it's quite easy to get on uh, and give it a go. You can always go back to uh, Nugget, you know, if it doesn't work out for you. But uh, just a quick video checking out Oreo here on the OnePlus 5T. Uh, if you have any questions, you let me know. Hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.